Hopefully y'all can hear me pretty good. It's currently five o'clock. I wanted to hunt this afternoon, but I had to take the baby mom and go drop off her car. I'm going to a camera that I put up maybe about like a month and a half ago. It's been up for a long time in some bedding area. So I'm gonna see if I can try to squeeze in here and not bump anything out too much. And uh, I didn't hunt this morning just cause that wasn't really feeling well. So figured I'll just sleep in a little bit, take the medicine and then feeling a lot better now. So gotta grab this camera, maybe hunt it this weekend and I get the chance. All right, originally I set it up here just cause it's kind of just opening right here. And there's a really good trail that goes to this bedding. And there's some more bedding right over here. So I figured it would probably be a perfect spot to see all kinds of deer. This is new, but I originally seen that rub. And then there's just rubs in all these trees. There's an old one right there. And there's a couple over there. But looks like it was like two or three trails just connected right here in the middle so i figured i'll just put a camera right here and see what we get luckily my camera is still there all right well it's four o'clock i'm just getting a couple rounds in because we're waiting for austin <coughs> austin's gonna come with me and then buck jamie marvin and go to a different spot but we're just here at my house i'm just doing a round real quick just Make sure everything's good. And we're waiting for us anyways, but it's uh, October 23rd. Hopefully we can uh, get one today, but yeah. We have a, I think we have a pretty good game plan for today, but. And then I did some scouting, and got some pictures on my cameras too, but I'll go into more of that later. You know how to, you know how to use it? Oh, the quick camera. So, okay, the way it works, it, it goes off by like rotation. You gotta still keep the pressure on you right here in the rotate. Oh, yeah. You said let the thumb go. Oh yeah. <laughs> shot it. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> as long as it don't shoot, it shoots. <laughs> Alright y'all. Follow our doors back here again. It's me, Buck James. And it is October 23rd. It is Buck James second hunt. It's 706. It's shooting light. Hopefully we get a buck down dough down whatever the way they were set up is it's like all these ridges come down into a funnel and I was thinking if it's really windy today they would not want to go out so they'll just come in this funnel and hopefully we'll pick one out but yeah we got acorns dropping leaves dropping it's, it's deer season me and Austin snuck up in here Really, we got here like almost an hour and a half before sunrise, but we had to take it really slow. The wind is kind of not quite there, but it's supposed to be high up to gusts of 30 miles per hour today. But I had some trail, cam trail cameras up around here, and I had two decent sized bucks on it, and they, which was like 20 yards that way, but <clears throat> my idea is I'm thinking that they are bedded in here and being that it was warm and supposed to be 8 degrees today they were moving on night so hopefully I'm hoping to catch them coming back to the bedroom we did jump on one doe she didn't know where we were we just got set up and I'm gonna get my ranges pull back and hopefully we see something tonight or today this morning say I'm gonna do Sunday afternoon
they smelled us. Yep, they smelled us. All right, it's over here. <laughs> you can see like three dogs walk up behind us like 50 yards out. They were just straight chilling. I think they just smelled us and then, you know, they're gone now. That's the weirdest thing. They're like downwind. We did not think they would be right behind us because you could tell we set up, but James, like, their back, our back is facing them. But they didn't smell us for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And yeah, we were just talking, and then I looked to my left. Oh, shit. We'll keep sitting. I mean, they came in pretty close for being downwind from us. But stay tuned. All right, well, good morning. It is Halloween, and we're spraying down right now, and we got the yaks out today, and we're gonna float down this river, or I guess paddle up, but we're gonna paddle up this river and sneak into a spot we've never been to. Midday, look around, kind of just find some sign. We're gonna get all loaded up and situated here, and then we'll uh, catch you guys when, I guess when we find something, I don't know. Uh, last year on Halloween, I shot at a really nice buck when my pin was set on 43 yards and it was at 20 yards. But if you guys want to check out that video, it was a crazy hunt. We had a whole bunch of riding action and uh, deer uh, responding to calls and stuff like that. So I'll be on the top right. You guys want to check that out. And Austin grabbed two different bo boots, but at least you grabbed the left and right. I got the left and right, so we're good. But uh, yeah, we're going to get in here. We're going to... Do this. this is our first time ever doing this. This is the basically the whole reason why I ended up buying a kayak in the first place is just to do this very thing right here, and we're about to do it. So we're pretty excited about that too. So hopefully we see something and it turns out to be pretty effective. So come along. Hopefully we uh, see something. I haven't seen too much this year. So let's go. Ah. Shit, Bob. I'm about to take my like a lineman's rope out. Okay, I hope we made it. It was about 70% pulling and 30% paddling. It is 12 o'clock, Halloween, so I end up backtracking <clears throat> over everybody's tree stands. I see both tree stands, so I'm hoping that they don't decide to come hunt tonight. <clears throat> but it's really the only place I could set up because down this way it gets super thick, so I'm guessing they probably, either they're going to come from there or they're going to be bedded in there. So I don't really want to push it out too much. But I have Austin over here to my shoulder on my left, about 100 yards. I can't see him, but he's around the corner. But he's hunting some scrapes. Yeah, I'm gonna set the rest of the day. Hopefully, I see something. Almost everyone in the whole group's been going out and trying to make something happen for this year. Uh, it's just been pretty uneventful for us. Uh, Buck James and Marvin have been going at it pretty good. But it does look like there is deer walking through here, but we just need one deer down in the group just get the momentum going just because we're all pretty uh, low right now and with seeing deer and uh, with the handful of missed opportunities that we've already had uh, but that's deer hunting oh yeah I forgot to mention that I got the truck but I uh, had an accident at work and I put a hole in my hand right here. I got three stitches right there. Uh, but that happened on Tuesday, so I've just been kind of taking it easy on this hand. This is the hand I used to pull back, and I used a hinge, and I tried it a couple of days after. I really couldn't put tension on it, so I was practicing all week with my wrist release. But it looks like I just pulled back not too long ago, but it looks like 
I should be good to go use the hinge again. Um, so that's a plus. So it's been healing. It's healing good. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some midday movement. A lot of leaves are falling. It sounds like there's deer walking around it everywhere. We got about 40 minutes left. See zero deer. Austin saw one buck. That was pretty big. That's probably gonna do it for this video. Just gonna make a game plan for next week. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the the bell so you guys know when we upload. We try to upload every Wednesday, but obviously if we're not seeing nothing or catching nothing, we can't really upload content. So so I got a long season ahead. Just a pretty rough start for us today, or this year. 